Your Excellency, Pastor, Doctor, Dorka Sujaiti, you are most welcome to our institutions. We first thank our Lord for all that He has given to each one of us present here today. On behalf of the missionaries of charity, sisters present in this institution, the children, and all the workers, we heartily welcome you once more, Your Excellency, to this home. We are indeed happy to have you here today. Thank you for your sacrifice, for putting aside your duties, and coming to spend some time with us. Feel at home, and we are most welcome again. Thank you. Your Excellency Reverend Dorcas Gachagua. Your Excellency Reverend Dorcas Gachagua, all the esteemed guests from the government, all the other friends and people that have collaborated and partnered with Her Excellency to make this day successful, all the MC sisters present, our beloved and innocent girls, workers, good afternoon. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is with great gratitude from my heart at I, Susa Kleti MC, the in charge, to welcome again to our home here in Langata. May you all feel at home here. We thank you for keeping your promise of coming back to visit us and working in hand with the management of this place to make sure our beautiful girls have a comfortable life and supporting us in the smooth running of this home. Veshimiva, you promise to come to visit us whenever you get the opportunity and we have witnessed that here today because you have resumed wish us a Merry Christmas and to spend some time with us. We are also grateful for the direct and indirect support you have always offered us throughout this year together with the different partners that you connected us with. We are sincerely grateful for always choosing us and giving us a place in your heart but we highly recommend you for the great work that you are doing to our beautiful motherland for considering the lives of the poor, vulnerable 
and abundant people of our society especially the widows the orphans the youth who are victims of drugs especially in the different parts of kenya your excellency we thank you very much for the love support and care you have offered to our home especially to our innocent beautiful girls who are present here our girls know they are not orphans because they know they have an earthly mother who thinks and loves them wholeheartedly may the almighty god bless you and enrich you abundantly for the good work you are doing to our girls and our home at large we thank you for showing us what a good leader should do which is serving and not to be served because our lord jesus christ first showed us and which we can truly witness it and learn from you your excellency we began to see your acts of service to the marginalized even before you were to be one of the key leaders to our government of kenya we recall your hum- we recall your humbling yourself and coming to support in different corners here with your friends especially in cutting vegetables and doing the laundry truly this is a symbol of service and humility which you began showing and expressing from long time it is said that the humble shall be exalted you were raised to greater things because of the love and care for the poor you have always had for the vulnerable people we highly recommend you and the entire government for the great work you are doing to make sure that we have a beautiful and great country where all the human rights of people are met regardless of race status and ethnicity if we begin to mention what you have done to our home we cannot finish because you have supported us endlessly we are sincerely grateful for the provision of food stuff which you have always been sending us food is a basic need in human life and that's why our girls are healthy because of your support we have never slept hungry we truly we truly know that god will remind you that when i was hungry you gave me to eat the food you have always been supporting us with it has enabled us to increase the number of the poor families that come to seek our help by supporting them with we trust in the power of sharing even in the little we have always because God loves a cheerful giver also the scriptures teach us that generosity is the highest gift we can do to our neighbors we also see we are reminded that the measure you give is the measure you receive may the almighty god increase you veshimiva and all the colleges that you partner with in supporting the lives of the vulnerable in the society if we can look at our girls right now we can see we can see them seated very comfortably and on safe wheelchairs all this is by the support of your excellency our girl can girls can now sit comfortably and we know the end of day until when we take them back to bed christmas is a moment of love 
and sharing what we have with our family members, friends, especially remembering the poor. We are grateful for coming to share your time, love, support and care with us. This shows that the leadership of today in Kenya values the less fortunate people of the society. May God bless you. May God grant you his wisdom to lead our country with integrity like Solomon along with all the other political leaders of our country and the world at large. May the infant baby Jesus be born in your heart, in your family, in all the partners you have worked with to make this day successful. The entire government of Kenya representative, especially His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, His Excellency Rigati Gachagua, and all the other members, representatives in the government, and all the citizens and friends of Kenya. The light of the world is coming to dispel all the darkness and vices of our country. As he is a good God, and may he fill all of us in this season with a true light and love, which no one can dispel. For where God is, his graces and mercies are abundant. We pray that this Christmas, may the infant baby Jesus fill you with the entire world with zeal and love to do his will in our lives, for his will is the best for all of us, and may we all rely on him completely. Your Excellency, kindly, during your next visit, please invite his Excellency Presidents of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> Dr. William Ruto and His Excellency, Geoffrey Rigati Gachagua. <laughs> Asante Sana, Your Excellency, and we promise to keep you in our daily prayers to offer your petitions to God and the petitions of our entire country, Kenya, that the Almighty God bless you and accomplish all your desires according to His will. Merry Christmas and a prosperous, prosperous 2024, Your Excellency Mrs. Dorcas Gachagua and all the visitors that are present here. Karibuni Tena Na Tena. I invite Mende and the group come forward to do the dance. So, Sister Rete, kindly come and welcome Her Excellency. Now, I invite 
Your Excellency, to come forward to address your children. Thank you very much, Sister, Sister Letty, and the sisters of the House of Peace, and other staff that are serving the girls here. As we mark this International Day of Persons with Disabilities that was a co uh, uh, commemorated on Sunday, we appreciate the great contribution of this with of those with disability to our nation. And I just want to bring the greetings of His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa. I must say that uh, every time you see a woman, there is a man behind. <laughs> and this man behind has supported me in whatever that we are doing. So let's appreciate him. Secondly, I would like to really appreciate you, sister, and your entire staff for the commitment you have given to take care of these girls of mine. They look very beautiful today. <laughs> and they are beaming with joy and excitement because there is someone whose heart has been touched and you are offering the hand of God towards them. The Bible says in uh, Genesis 1 verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our own image and in our own likeness, so that they may rule over the fish of the sea. And when he was created, he created all of us, even these ones, very special, fearfully and wonderfully made. And that is why I'm so glad that we are here, all of us, the staff, and sisters being able to take care of these wonderful daughters of God who are made in God's image and in God likeness. Yes, those who are differently able to have unique skills and abilities and gifts that God created them all in his own image and in his own likeness. As a nation, we honor their contribution to the nation's economic growth and have installed different policies and initiatives to support their welfare, to promote their inclusion. While celebrating their contribution, many of them, many of you may not know that we are working with the Special Olympics. And perhaps, sister, we may want to know some of those who can be able to be included in, out there and they can go and compete like everybody else. Because I believe they have talents and have abilities that are innate, put by God. And even them being here and being uh, you know, like everyone else, not hidden, and that is what we are asking for. Let people start to understand they are only differently abled. They are not disabled in any way. In fact, some of us are more disabled than these ones. If we were to be emulated, uh, uh, emulated with all our weaknesses and the manner in which if God was to look at you and look at them, some of us are more disabled. And our disabilities are in God's eye than you can see. And therefore, I know that, sister, we can start thinking like, the last year we went with the, for Special Olympics. I'm the patron of the Special Olympics. I went to Bahrain with them, and they won very many medals. They won 25 medals. And out of 25, 15 were gold. This is different. This is different from what the Olympics people go. They go, they come with four goals, they come, they celebrate them at the airport, but we went there. And our country flag was hosted because of people like this 12, 15 times. And when we came to the airport, nobody came to even receive us. 
I was very surprised. Not even the media came to highlight it until we invited them at our home there and we were having a meal with them. All the media were there. And these girls and boys were wearing their medals and they were very happy. Some of those children now, they have built homes with what they earned during that time to their parents. So they can contribute to our happiness, to the family, uh, joy and all that. So we must celebrate their contribution. And it's imperative to acknowledge the existing gaps in our nation, nation's infrastructure that hinder the full inclusion of different abled individuals. Public buildings and even the, 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 the toilets and public service vehicles and transportation often lack provision for their convenient mobility and access. As a nation, it's our collective responsibility as public and private sector to work towards inclusive policies and infrastructure that will be able to cater for the needs of those with uh, disabilities, uh, aligning with the commitment of achieving the Sustainable Development Goal, the SDGs, especially goal number 10 and 11. So we have provisions all over the world, and even here in Kenya and other countries in Africa. We need now to go to the level we don't hide our beauty and the variety that God gave us. We expose them so that they can also celebrate with us. Sometimes they look different and they may celebrate differently like they are doing here. But they are human beings. And you can see within themselves, they have a spirit. They have a soul that is joyful. Let them be able to enjoy the environment God created for them. So within our office, our vision includes support for the boy child, the widows and the orphans, and those who are differently abled and recognize them as fundamental components of a dignified future in Kenya. Several initiatives have already uh, been set in motion, such as their victorious uh, participation in the Special Olympics, organizing medical camps, supporting their education, facilitating activities like mountain climbing for the uh, virtually impaired, uh, distributing assistive devices, and advocating for their full inclusion in various spheres of the society. Because they are part of this society. They are Kenyans like any other Kenyan, and they are Africans like any other African. They, are, they live in this world, and also they are blessed of God, and they should be the inheritors of the kingdom of God and its fullness and in its riches. <laughs> so therefore, it's a really an esteemed privilege to visit uh, St. Teresa home. I'm always very glad when I come here and I see the great work that God is doing with you and the staff here. May God really bless you as we celebrate Christmas. I decided to come and just see how you are doing. And I can see you are doing very well. <laughs> so allow me to wish you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And I believe that God will give you long life. God will strengthen you. God will give you reason to celebrate every day. And I want to appreciate you, sisters, for the prayers that you have presented before God. If there is anything else that I need, is those prayers. Because the work that I do and the manner of which places I go and I'm moving all over, I know that your prayers have continued to sustain me in safety and in protection. I also pray for you. As a pastor, I pray for you. And I pray for our children that God may give them long life, joy, and continue to increase them in every way. And I can, you can see the beauty, the smiles that they have. This is God incarnate. And if you can't touch God here, where can you ever touch him? 
And that is why we came today together with my staff. You can see them. They are always coming here. And every time you see them, know that you have seen me. <laughs> I have heard what you have said about the president and the deputy president. I will pass the word and we'll see when they may come to see you. For we are told anything, any dream is only a prayer away. And so if you can pray and I can go ask, it will happen. God bless you and God honor you. Um, we are be leaving shortly because I had another meeting which I'll have to go somewhere. I have to go and change and do all this. But I love you and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, Your Excellency. Let's appreciate Our Excellency with a better clap. <laughs> so you can have a seat for a minute, Your Excellency. Uh, before I invite, okay. You know, it's good for a mother to pray for the children. <laughs> so let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you this wonderful afternoon. We are forever grateful for the gift of life that you have given to us. For the beauty that stands before us and we say it is a gift that you have given to us. It is marvelous in our eyes. Our Lord and our God, I just want to thank you for the children. Each one of them is so special before your eyes. I pray that our hearts, O oh Jehovah God, will be passioned and be able to see and experience the power of the presence of God in each one of them. I thank you because I know that you are the healer. I know that, Father God, you are the giver of life. I pray for long life upon them. I pray for peace within them. I pray for healing. Because, God, you know each one of them. Those who can speak, those who can speak, Jehovah God, you can speak them in the language of God. And you can touch them with the touch of God so that they may also be able to feel us and know the, how our hearts love them. Our Lord and our God, they are staff that have continued to serve in this place. I pray for strength. I pray that, Lord God, you will bless them beyond their imagination. I pray that you will increase them. And their peace, O oh God, will be the peace of God that passes our understanding. And their strength will be marvelous to many. I pray for this home that, Father, it will go from one dimension of faith to another. And even their riches, O oh Jehovah God, will reach to the ends of the earth. For this are beautiful work of God. And they are your image and your own likeness. We may not have been able to do the best, oh dear God, but we pray that what we have placed in their hands will be enough, oh God, and you will multiply it so that they can receive health in their bodies. We pray for spiritual nourishment upon them. Your hand to remain upon this place and your presence to dwell so richly among them. So that as they experience this Christmas, our Father and our God, they will be able to smile and say, surely God has visited us. And in the new year, it will be another dispensation when they will say, surely God has started and will end with us. I thank you for everyone and everything that you have done before, what you are doing now, and what you will do in the future. For it is in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. I did